Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope everyone is good. Um, I'm just sort of, gosh, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> I just wait, wait for a few seconds or whatever. Um, this morning, let's get my brushes. So yeah, I'm going to uh, paint. Um, my painting with some irises because I've been when I walk Cyril where I am in Sussex at the moment I walk him round um, a block of houses and um, they've got some lovely irises in their garden and I keep oh, uh, and I wanted to take some photos of them but I think I felt a bit weird taking photos <laughs> of somebody's garden because it meant I had to go in their front gardens which isn't really a good thing is it no a weirdo taking photos morning Helen Morning, Miss Jeanette. <laughs> How are you all? Hope you are good. Good morning, good morning. I've got, so I was cleaning my palette, I don't know if you can see. Um, I've got, because, you know, yesterday I was mainly about keeping my yellows clean. I thought well, it would be good if I had a good space for my, um, what do you call it? yellows to go so I have cleaned it look but it's made a mess everywhere it's like really wet <laughs> look guys look be impressed look at the yellowness I don't it's got a bit I couldn't get that off it was like stuck I might scrape that off later that's um Naples yellow on the red shade from Van Gogh but I thought okay that would do it morning Leanna <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Fran. <laughs> it's nice to have you here today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, well, I'm here. I, I hardly slept last night. I was just like, uh, I couldn't sleep. I think I woke up about two. The wind was really noisy, and they're, they're building a whole big, massive block of, um, like a tower block of flats next door on the seafront and the wind whistling through it was keeping me away and it like disturbed Cyril so I had to take him out and then I couldn't get back to sleep until half past four and then I woke up to do this. <laughs> Morning Manny <laughs> If you see the guys with the little sticker, the little green faced person, that's because they are members of my channel. You can become a member, there is a link below there's three tiers. Look, look at me, look how organised I am this morning, guys. <laughs> there are three tiers um, of prices, and you get different things on each tier. And um, you'll probably get more than what is said there, but I just put like the basic things that I knew I could keep up with because I find it difficult to keep up with everything sometimes. So I didn't want to push myself too much. So, yeah. Anyway, so this morning I am painting. Um, I've got some of this paper. I'm painting irises. That's why I've got the long paper, but you can't see everything in place. So I'm going to have to like move it up and down. And I can't move the camera because I'm in a limited space here. This is this paper. Can you see? Yes, you can see. <laughs> it's that paper. Um, 140 pound cold press paper with a grain on it. And I've got my um, cat's... Oh, I don't know why I grabbed this brush. I just like the shape of it. With a cat's tongue brush in a three-quarter inch. It's a faux squirrel by Zen Art. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. <laughs> yes, so, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's what my um, aim is to do anyway. So, let's see. And um, I've cleaned up the yellows. So, I will try and... Is that all you can see? I'm, I'm just like weird. It's like, why is that all you can see? <laughs> Hang on. Technical, technical sorting. No, the zoom's not on or anything. I don't know why. On the thingy camera, it's that. But on the... You can see more on my actual webcam than you can on the screen. On Oh, they, they must have changed from setting somewhere. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll have to just go go with this. <laughs> See if it makes a difference. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna paint some some um yeah these. I'm gonna start off with yellow. I haven't got I sort of run out of the nice yellows. So that there is um some gouache. So I'm 
can start off. I like the those um they're not the blue irises, they're the like maroony colour that go into yellow. So that, they're the ones I'm I'm gonna try and paint. So it might go a bit quick because I'm doing it really loose. So I might have to stand up and do it. But it's still not long enough. <laughs> and I've got that really nice maroony colour that I love, this one. And I've forgotten what it is I've squirted on there. I think it's this. This one. I can't say it. Pymonite Genuine. Pymonite Genuine. Can you see? I don't think it's going to um, have to do this, don't you? No? Come on, folks. There you go. That one. <laughs> no, it's got focus back on here. There we go. It takes a time. Bless it, poor thing. And yeah, so I was going to do that. See how nice that is. I just blobbed a bit of colour. And it also has like a a purpley hinge to it. You can't see my mixing palette on this one. I wanted to show you. <laughs> yeah, you also get special emojis. <laughs> Thank you. Morning, Marianne. <laughs> Good morning. But I'm just, I just put the colour, I haven't mixed it in the palette. I'm just trying, and then the, you've got to try and keep the fluffiness. That's my term, that's a word. <laughs> of it, and I'm, I'm going to be look, using lots of bleach in this, so, um, yeah. I'm going to do a video on about um, the bleach that I use, because um, I always get asked about it. And I always get asked... Does it affect the paper? Does it deteriorate over time? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Once it's dry, it's sort of that's it. Doesn't it stops reacting and stuff. So it is all good. Let's just get a bit of a bit more fruffiness, as I call it. And then they have the the beardy bit. Do you like that? Which I'm going to try and put in here. I know I'm sort of because you, you have to. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> now I'm going to have to keep moving this up and down because um, I'm going to put the green in. They always have like a papery bit around the top of the stem as well. Oh, I've painted so many irises. It used to be my favourite flower to paint. But um, lately I've been doing more different, different things. <laughs> like daisies and poppies and when I get home I'm hoping my peonies are going to be out because I'm going to be painting some of those see I haven't used many brush strokes and um, you've already got that really nice effect I want that really rusty nice rusty burnt sienna here just to wish it all in so that's so wet, it's going to um, <laughs> blob everywhere. So, I don't want that. so that's one. I'm going to put a little bit of, change my brush. I found these brushes. These are these um, new brushes. And they came in a nice little wallet. I forgot I had them. I thought I'd give them a go. Um, I want to... So I've lost the chat, it's disappeared. <laughs> Hi Margie. <laughs> Who else have I missed? Well so I couldn't do it. Oh great Jeanette. They're lovely, aren't they? They're just I, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to like make that into a um I'm just adding a bit of I'm not quite sure. Sorry, my chat disappeared so I couldn't see. I don't know why, where it's gone. Just adding a bit of fruffiness to the ends. <laughs> As you do. So that's all. I want a pencil to do some fruffy bits. You know what I like. I haven't got my water-soluble pencils with me, though. So if I was at home, I'll be using the water-soluble pencils. But um, I'm not, so it's going to be this. I'm just, like, coaxing the watercolour. Around. And I'd also use my sandpaper and um, a yellow water soluble pencil to do the um, pollen bits <laughs> that fall down. So that's one. <laughs> so 
So I don't know why I've lost my um, chat. So um, <laughs> it's like, where's it gone? <laughs> one moment, please. Yeah, so that's that one. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's annoying me that it's not in... And the colours are really weird this morning. Something's something's occurred to my camera action. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Let me pop that there and then I can... Sorry, I'm just getting the live stream back up so I can see it. <laughs> so that's one. Let's do like a bud. I'm, I'm sure we have to have a bud up here. Can you see? And then it has the papery bit around it, and that like papery. Let me just try and add some lines. We like lines and lines and lines. And then the green stem comes around. Maybe it could join to that. And no, I'm going to do this as a separate one coming down. But I'm not going to do the stem all the way down because I want to put another one somewhere <laughs> pick some more select the colors Ooh. merge in Bloop. there we go let's try another one I'm just gonna put it here so I'm not worrying about it I'm merging in I'm not gonna worry about this bit because um, hopefully it's going to um, not be there much longer. <laughs> and just get the shapes and then you can drop all the nice colours in. That's better. I can see you now. <laughs> I think I changed the um, settings to the quality of the playback so I think that's what might be affecting the size thinking about it because I was thinking why is the quality not as good when I'm streaming as some so I've updated the quality but it's also made the colour go really like zing <laughs> but oh well never mind <laughs> it's gonna uh, it's not as bright as it looks on the screen guys <laughs> Oh no, I've messed up my yellows already. That's the, um, what do you call it, the beardy bit. They're called bearded irises, aren't they? Just maybe, I need to, I'm feeling I need to put pink in for some reason. You know how I like that opera pink. But I love the way the colours are all like schmooshing together. Let's give that one a stem. Got a nice greeny gold here, but Ooh, this brush is good for doing stems. <laughs> I'm gonna do another one here because it's bearded iris heaven and these lovely colours. I'm gonna try and snap a picture sneakily when I walk past them today. There we go. If you can see, that's a fruity bit now. do it on that one <laughs> is it much clearer yeah it's clearer but the colors are like zing <laughs> I'm not sure that I must have um, adjusted something like the the bright the thing I'm glad it's clearer because it was only like recording at SD rate not high definition and I've got a high definition camera and I was thinking why isn't it doing that it's all too technical, you know. I'm getting there, though. <laughs> there. Let's put a bit more. I wanted that to, like, you know, finger painting's good, isn't it? I always finger paint. So that's another one. Let's put another one here. So I get my yellow. Try and keep it clean in there. 
Oh, that's got a nice bit in it. So that's a vein. <laughs> it goes, it's going through the flowers. What a fluke, eh? I'm trying to do this one a bit more closey up here at the top. I don't know. You know how we go. <laughs> you can't see, can you? Because it's right down there. Push it up. I'm, going, I'm clearing the space. I've got my um, blotting paper up there. It's not good. Move out. Let me show you. <laughs> this colour is really nice mixed with the purple so I'm going to try and keep it. That colour up here and then go mix the purple. Some purple in it. I'm just sort of like using the brush to make the um, shapes of the petals because they're quite, um, I don't know, I just want it free and nice and it's not a botanical study, it's a feeling of a, an iris. Oh, God, that colour is really bright. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that, aren't I? Every time I look at it, it's like, oh, that's bright. It's not this bright in real life, guys, on this. Let me just... I wanted to put a... Try and get the composition. This is a, one of the leaves. And I don't care that it's all smidgen in, because that's the way I like it. I like it like that. I'm not going to sing. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Encouraging the blooms and the runbacks and the splidginess and everything. Ooh, got some pink in it. I think, I think, I think I'm going to leave it. Let's put a bit of darker colour here. Mm. I think that's quite nice. And I wait for all the colours to dry naturally. I don't know why it's so bright. <laughs> yeah, it's quite intense, isn't it? It looks nice though. Give up. Can you see the colours all squidging together? Mm -hmm. This is my Zoom, by the way, guys. <laughs> well, that's that one. <laughs> yeah, summer feelings. Yeah, my irises up north, they're not doing anything yet. It's just down here. They seem to have a um, little subculture of its own down here. That's what you call it, isn't it? Yes, I think so. <laughs> I really don't know why it's so bright. Yeah, look at all the lovely granulation. That's from the Daniel Smith, or is it a Van Gogh green that I put in? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> but look how nice it is. We like that. Thank you, Marianne. Wait, I might do another one <laughs> on a smaller sheet of paper. I might try some blue ones. Should we try some blue ones? since I've got time. That's my last sheet of big paper that I have here with me. <gasps> Unless I go to the shop. But I only have A4 now. This, this one. <laughs> so I'm going to try and rain it in a bit and paint smaller. <laughs> Let's try, okay. I'm not very good on A4 size. I like to paint my like irises big, like the life size, paint them life size, and I get a bit carried away. <laughs> I just get, need to get one of those big rolls of watercolour paper. Let's use flippy, floppy, flopper, floppiness um, to do the blue ones. Um, right, I don't need, I need a bit of yellow, but not loads of it. I need the blues. 
So I'm going to use all the blues. Like I've got cerulean blue, lavender blue, uh, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue. What's the other blue I've got? Sleeping Beauty, Patho Patho blue. Can't to say it. Um, this one, I don't know what that is. What do you call that? There you go. You can read that. <laughs> so, yeah, all the blues. Uh, and another blue. Hang on, let me see what this is. Mayan blue. They're Daniel Smith blues. I've, like, squirted them all out the other day in my palette. I can move across for this one because the paper's not so big. And I can probably get it. Let me just move the camera so it's not... There we go. I will need that. So, yeah, there. Yeah. I should be able to get this all in. Now, sorry that my camera settings are... Um, let me just have a quick... <laughs> let me just do a quick technical um, thing. What have I got? Is there a filter on it? That's okay. Oh, I've got colour correction on it. So maybe... Let me turn down the saturation a bit it back to zero. Is it? Maybe this is going to give you the proper colours. Let me just show you that one again. Yeah. There we go. That's the proper colours. It's not as bright. <laughs> yeah, see, um, I can't get it all in. You have to do it landscape. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna paint a uh, a a thingy one now. A um a flippy floppy brush. Um, they're gonna be really loose and fast. And let me just get my and the browns mixed in with my blues. Can you see? No, look, these are all my blues, and that colour's worked its way down here. But. I'm keeping it like it because it creates interesting things. <laughs> Flippy floppy brush is not good for me getting the colour off the um, palette thing. Wait, well, there's going to be something there because I've just splashed it. Right. Flippy floppy brush loveliness of irises. <laughs> it's gonna work, isn't it? Yes. Maybe the flippy floppy brush isn't good. <gasps> Maybe it is. You know it's good. Let's get a bit of yellow. I don't want it to go green. I'm trying to keep it yellow. That's the problem with doing <laughs> doing this. I'm gonna have to get a smaller brush. For that bit because I don't want it to go so so green. I want to keep the yellowness of the yellow. There, that's the one. That's the ticket. And it wasn't so wet there. Let's put a bit more in there. I don't mind it like flipping out a bit. That's bleach by the way guys. Right. Swish it in. What's that? Let's give it a stem. I'm not going to use the flippy floppy brush for the stem because I want it quite controlled. So there can be like a party going on up here. It's a bit like a mallet. <laughs> a mullet. <laughs> Should I say mallet? A mullet. Business at the front, party at the back. We need some control. So that gives a nice, um, let's give this a stem so I can do another one coming up there and then a petal. This is going to be like a bud coming up there. Keep changing my brush over. I'm just going to put some of this darker, drop it in here and there. Blue. 
I need you to put a bit of cerulean blue in with the This is a bud. <laughs> yeah, pretty. <laughs> and then it has the, um, what do I call it? The, I got a bit of clinical getting to make the, um, it has like a papery bit around it. So that's that there. I'm just keeping it really schmuff. Let's put some. That was simple, and that <laughs> I'm not sure if this is gonna. That's not gonna do the right. It's really warm in this flat, so things dry a lot quicker than they do at home, and I'm not used to it. <laughs> Very warm. Let's put a little bit of. Just want it to encourage the. There. I'm glad it's clearer. I think the delay might be more because I, because I've um, changed the. Let me just get a pencil. That one. <laughs> I've changed changed the quality, so I think the delay is a bit longer for me. So if I sound weird on the um, chat, I'm only just picking it up. <laughs> That's all good. Let's give this a bit more of a. It's a crazy um I like the way the green's gone into that but there that's that one <laughs> let me see close up let me zoom in <laughs> look at the just the loveliness so I think that's like captured the feel of irises I just like have a picture in my head of how they look and stuff you know what I did I put the um <laughs> the bud on the end of the leaf instead of that <laughs> I just realized uh, what are you doing there we go <laughs> what's she doing now the leaf looks weird we're gonna have to do that dropping down there we go fixed <laughs> done it there we go Ta -da! <laughs> that was a quick one for this morning um, I hope you enjoyed those and I want to carry on painting now but I haven't got enough paper to keep doing them <laughs> so there was this one I'm going to have to show you this landscape look out on the community tab I put lots of pictures and things up there and if you remember you're going to get bombarded with stuff I haven't sort of sorted myself out yet completely with my membership but it's there and it's happening and people have joined <laughs> it's felt like Patreon and it's like just an extra support for, for my channel and all this that I do and it will help me help me um, buy more supplies like I'm very low on which colour is it? Look, it's run out. <laughs> yeah, because all these supplies are expensive and I don't get paid much for the actual live streams I do from sponsorship because you have to go and watch the... Um, for me to get money, you have to watch the ads all the way through and people hate watching adverts, don't they? <laughs> it's not good. So, And your support would be very much appreciated. So thank you. The link's under the channel if you'd like to join my channel. <laughs> Lots of perks. I'm going to keep saying this now. So I'm used to saying it. I used to be like, no, I couldn't ever ask anybody to join. But I'm okay now. Right. I'm not going to do a shine because it's going to, like, it's really wet. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for joining me, everybody. And thank you, Melanie and Helen, for your support. Thank you. And um, I will see you tomorrow. What day is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday, isn't it? So I'll be here tomorrow. I'll be um, not sure what I'm going to be painting tomorrow. Maybe I should 
leave that up to my members <laughs> yeah thanks again um if you haven't already please subscribe and give me a thumbs up because that helps as well so i will see you tomorrow morning 7 30 a.m british summer time bye and this is where i just stand here waving because i can't find the off button bye <laughs> thank you